KMR, welcome back to the Braptastic channel. We're hanging out in the shop. I've got something new for everybody to check out. And I definitely want to thank everyone for subscribing, for watching the channel, asking questions. We're just trying to keep the rotary alive. We always like coming out with new things. And this is something new. We've done this porting for people before, but it's not a template we had on the shelf or that we were offering to the public until now. We'll have these on the shelf soon. What you're looking at right here is finished prototype number one. We've gone through a couple of what is the full Renesis bridge port. So this is a template that gives you a bridge on both of your secondary ports. So your front and rear plate get the full bridge. And then we've also got a bridge on our primary. This would be fantastic in race application. This is definitely a excessive intake port. You're going to have to do a lot of work on your exhaust to try to get that flow up. And it's one of the reasons uh, that at Mazda Tricks and KMR, we like that hybrid setup for hot rods, racing, um, sporting applications. This is definitely not going to pass smog, something I would recommend uh, with an aftermarket ECU. If you want something a little more basic, always remember that our Bridgeport templates are still a street port, so your exhaust and both primary and secondary ports do get enlarged. You can see we've dropped that exhaust down and we've pulled that intake up for duration. Uh, but if you're looking for a lot more intake opening timing, let's line up our, our dowels here. You can see that this will open the Renesis intake ports substantially earlier. And it's also uh, allowing for a non-actuated bridge as well, depending on if you were running actuators in what was our half bridge. Um, so this gives you a couple options on how to play with the intake ports. I like to run them completely open, do away with the actuators, turbocharge, stud the block, um, and, and open up the exhaust as much as possible so you can get horsepower out of these motors. But obviously that's in a race or very performance application. Um, another notable thing would be if you are going full bridge, I recommend a one-piece apex seal. I know people get away with two-piece apex seals and bridge ports. My preference is a one-piece, if anybody asks. So in most of the motors we've done that are full bridges, we've always gone with a properly fitted one-piece apex seal. Um, but to each their own. There's a lot of recipes out there. Rotary engines, race engines in general um, are recipes. And engine builders have certain ways they go about them. So let me know what your opinion is on that, but I prefer the one piece and that would be the same in this application. And if you're going with a hybrid, you've obviously, you obviously would want to go with a RX-7 height apex seal because that would be passing over the uh, tra traditional RX-7 exhaust port. Um, and just some other, you know, back to the point of what this Rensys template's doing. Um, it is opening up our exhaust quite a bit. So you're getting a nice benefit there. Um, not only is that going to increase flow, but once it's polished, it's going to cut down on your carbon buildup. And I do recommend knocking off those sharp edges that are in the OEM ports. And obviously on the intake side, whether you go with the street port or the full bridge, cleaning up, polishing, and allowing the port to flow a little more air has been proven to increase horsepower on the top end. And like everybody will probably comment in the comment section below, of course you're going to lose bottom end with aggressive porting on a rotary. But why would you be driving a bridge port or an aggressively ported rotary engine for performance at low RPMs? I wouldn't do that. This is definitely going to be a high RPM, high performance, depending on the application, will brap hard port. It's for hot rods, race cars, and fun rotary projects. That's why we have brought it to the KMR and soon to be Mazda Trix outlets. We wanted everybody to enjoy the Renesis as much as we have. I still believe these are great motors, whether you're running them in the OEM style and application, 
or you're hot rodding them up with the now more popular hybrid or GSLSE rotor housing configuration. So everybody, let me know what you want to see next. We're always looking to do new things. This is our, our newest template. I'm going to brap on out of here. Um, comment below. Any questions, feel free to ask. We'll probably do a porting project around this soon. But um, yeah, this one, this one will make some power on that top end if that's what you're looking for. So enjoy. And I'm going to say it. Brap, brap. Time to go. Thanks for watching.